Hey Timlies, it's Deligrissy here with another speed build of the Sunset Valley Kids Clubhouse. Uh, basically, this is a special build. It is for my friend Sonia, whose birthday it is today. So she, a little while ago, asked me to do a challenge where I had to build on a 10x10 block in The Sims or a 10x10 lot. And uh, so here it is, and I've decided to make a tree house uh, for kids, really, to go to a community lot where they can kind of hang out and I don't know I was like what can I fit onto this lot like literally all I can fit onto here is like a tree so it's like why don't I make a tree house so that is what we're doing uh it's not a super long speed build I mean usually my builds take forever and I have to post them in two halves uh but this one's a bit shorter and sweeter uh, which is a good thing. But anyway, at first I was trying to find out which tree to use. So we just went through a ton of trees <laughs> trying to find out which which one was best. Because the problem is you kind of have to build it uh, all between the branches, uh, which is what we're doing now. We're just kind of figuring out the general shape of it. Uh, it's nothing too complex, I guess. What I wanted to go with was a tree house that looked like it had kind of been built by the community and uh, I also wanted to make sure that the sims could get up and down the ladders without any problems. So you may recognize that sim from the Let's Build a Sorority series, uh, who's going to be testing it for us. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted it to look like the, com the community had kind of gone together and kind of built this. So it's very rustic looking, it's kind of old looking, but that's what I wanted to do. And uh, I have seen other tree houses being built in The Sims uh, by other players and I've got to say there are some incredible tree houses out there you should totally google it uh, because a lot of them have really beautiful bridges between the different trees and stuff and that's pretty awesome uh, but yeah so I looked at that for a bit of inspiration but really it's more of a cubby house it's not meant to be like a beautiful thing because quite frankly there is not much room uh, <laughs> for much else but we put in a fireman's pole because like hello if you're gonna have a freaking awesome cubby house you're gonna want to be able to go up and down a pole so that's why that's in there and it actually works quite nicely because it creates a cutout uh, for the tree to kind of pop through which uh, is a good thing and it is fully workable you can see the sim trying it out there and uh, it's all working but I like how the tree kind of comes through it uh, so you'd go down the pole next to the tree trunk uh, that's always a nice thing uh, also I have been having a few issues with my game crashing so we do save it several times uh, but yeah the other thing was just before we we're doing a bit of CFE work and unfortunately I don't think you can actually use CFE with ladders uh, when building. Uh, I'm not sure if you can put the ladder in and then use CFE on an upper level of the house, but it didn't really work if I wanted to have more ladders uh, and it definitely didn't work with a fireman's pole. So uh, there is no CFE in this uh, build, but it's not really necessary, I don't think. Uh, here we are putting in some pillars. I kind of wanted them to match the tree. Uh, as if they'd been made from the same the same kind of tree that had maybe been chopped down or something like that. So it kind of joins to the tree. It doesn't take away from the rest of the tree house. And we're making kind of a viewing deck upstairs where I end up putting in, I guess, a subtle pirate theme uh, with the idea that kids could go up to the top and pretend that they were like uh, driving a boat or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do love doing kids things in the Sims. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do to actually design kids bedrooms and stuff like that. I really like it. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of coming together. I also went through a lot of the kids items cause I, I really wanted to have like a hanging swing, like a tire on a swing. Uh, but in the end, all that I found that was appropriate were the hanging chairs, which is still really cool. They're from the Bohemian Garden set, uh, and they look really nice under there, I think. We're also using a bit of fencing here that's continuing with that log theme uh, or with the tree theme, so that doesn't take away from the rest of the tree house, and uh, making sure there is plenty of support with those columns underneath it so it doesn't look like it's going to kind of topple off the tree. Uh, but this play play what, what would you call that like a 
PlayStation, play, playground. This mini playground, <laughs> there we go, uh, is attached kind of on the side of the cubby house and I kind of blend it in so it looks like it's part of that the actual build uh, but the kids can still play on it so it works quite nicely and of course there is the telescope up on top on the on the viewing deck which is quite nice and putting in an extra ladder here I wanted the ladder to blend in with the uh, with the playground there so kind of moving backwards and forwards to put the ladder in first and then we line up the playground with it just now uh, so they don't they can't use that ladder but I think aesthetically it kind of works. It looks like there's one ladder going up to the second level that also joins up to the cubby house. That's why I did that. And uh, yeah, and then we put another ladder going up to that top viewing deck as well. So if they're feeling really keen, they can go up that pole, they can climb the pole, or, uh, or they can use the ladder for a little bit uh, less intensive play playing, I guess. Uh, and yeah, putting fences around. I love the idea of a tree house though. There is actually a tree house, like an old decrepit tree house, uh, right above my house, which is interesting. Actually, it's probably blown down by now, but like two years ago I saw it and the only remains were a few like floorboards and stuff like that up there. But I still think it's really cool because it kind of leaves a bit of a story from the previous owners, I guess. Uh, also, another thing I had a lot of fun using was from the new circus set. I was really, really excited about this uh, this venue set that came out not too long ago. Uh, not to use it as a circus set, but I kind of saw that within the set, all of this drapery and flags and stuff uh, and tent poles and whatnot, I kind of saw the potential of using that for uh, lots of different things. So we've actually used it on the houseboat a little bit. And uh, for this cubby house, I kind of made them look like tops, uh, like green tops, as if kind of people had hung them up. So there's a bit of shelter there if it starts to rain and the kids can kind of camp out underneath it. Uh, so the idea is, I guess, this is a cubby house down the road that the neighborhood uses uh, that can be shared. But I suppose you could put it like next, like right next to a house lot that you have in your world and just use it for your family as a, another land piece that they own or something like that. Uh, and we kind of put the circus tent drapery there facing each other so it looks like they're just tied onto the one pole, uh, which I think works quite nicely. And then you pop through above it when climbing up, climbing up the ladder. Uh, now we're moving on to doing the floorboards, uh, making them look nice and uh, old and weathered. Um, Actually, at the moment in Melbourne, it is winter for those of you living on the other side of the world, which is actually most of you. But for those in Australia, how cold and crazy has it been if you live in Melbourne or close to Melbourne? My goodness, there are like massive wind warnings every night for the last three nights. It's crazy. Uh, absolutely crazy. And I'm really nervous because my car isn't parked under cover tonight. So hopefully it's all good. <laughs> hopefully. I'm sure it will be. Uh, but yeah, we're putting in some corrugated iron here. I didn't want it all to be all the same. I wanted it to kind of look like it had been built, uh, kind of roughly. Uh, so we've got some corrugated iron there and then we end up putting some on the back as well. And yeah, it's looking pretty old. Uh, it looks like it's been well used and it's been there for a while, which is the look I was going for. I wouldn't mind doing another cubby house that was more like a brand new cubby house that kind of sits in a tree that has a proper pitched roof and stuff like that. That would be cool. Uh, I might like to do that later. And also those floor tiles on the back of the house. Uh, during the speed build, I actually forget to remove them. But after I've stopped recording, I do remove those floor tiles. So if you'd like to download it, uh, you can and uh, those floor tiles will be gone. <laughs> uh, also, here we are working on the cushions. And uh, I don't know, I want to go with some friendly childlike patterns. So we go with these love hearts, we go with big bright stripes, which contrast to the, to the actual cubby house that looks really old and stuff like that. So I like that ju juxtaposition. I think that's all right. Uh, but yes, I hope that Sonia does enjoy uh, this challenge. I hope that I 
uh, have created something interesting for only being able to use a 10 by 10 block. It's actually really hard. I have no idea how I'd build a house on this. I'd probably make it like a shipping container house, which is something I also want to do. Oh, I always say I want to do so many things, but there's only so much time <laughs> in every day to do them. Uh, but this idea was actually uh, seen on Meg Loves Games channel. Uh, you should check out her channel. She plays lots of different games, but there is a strong focus on The Sims. And she actually did manage to create a house on this 10 by 10 lot. And uh, I think that's where Sonia got the idea of the challenge from. So uh, you, sh you can definitely check that out because her resolution to this was very, very different to mine. <laughs> uh, but very cool as well. I did enjoy it. Uh, and of course, we needed to put in some fairy lights uh, from what pack was that? I think that was from the Bohemian Garden set as well. And we definitely needed to do a bit of terrain painting. Uh, because you want to make it look as realistic as possible and if you've got all those pillars stuck into the ground if you've got a bit of top hung up in a playground there's going to be a little bit of wear and tear on the grass it's not going to be perfect so we definitely needed to do that and one of the things I actually struggled with was trying to pick windows to put on here I was like I don't know which one so we go through like a million windows <laughs> some of them completely do not suit but I ended up choosing uh, this one from the base game I believe with the flowers underneath it I thought that was just nice and uh, kind of playful it looks like some kids could have watered the little garden there and this door I thought was perfect it's from the now and then uh, manor, century manor set uh, and I love that door but of course that would be easy to pop in a different door if you don't have it but I just loved that it's smashed and it's kind of open uh, and really weathered looking I thought that suited this perfectly and of course we needed a flag on here uh, for the kids who go up to the very top of it and who might want to play some games up there uh, such as I don't know if it was like a big ship or something like that uh, being adventurous and whatnot and that flag is from the circus set as well uh, so I have actually made use of a lot of the sets uh, I've been very very fortunate because I did purchase the circus set by myself but the bohemian set and the now and then manor were actually gifted to me and as well as these beautiful street signs they were a gift too from Angel thank you so much for those street signs I love them and I've been hanging out to use them but for those of you who have gifted me things thank you so much I really do enjoy using them and uh, I try and use them in ways that might not be the most obvious way to use them uh, because I don't know that's what I have fun with I have fun challenging myself in that way so uh, I don't know I think I think it works and inside I was going to put like a hanging light but then I thought you know what cubby house isn't gonna have like wide electricity if it's this old so we put in some lanterns two from the base game one from the outdoor living set and uh, these kind of random chucked in I don't know silver buckety things and then two backpacks as if kids have kind of just come straight from school and I know they're university backpacks but they still could be kids backpacks <laughs> and I was gonna put the cooking oven up there but I didn't like that I couldn't really color it so here we are going with the sea theme uh, or the sailor theme up the top uh, by putting a boat in we're putting haystacks in here so you can kind of lounge back on those and this is a very clubhouse look uh, coming into it now with those signs and we put some above the door uh, and it is a boys and girls clubhouse I remember I used to watch the Brady Bunch uh, my oldest sister loved the Brady Bunch and my mom watched it when she was a kid as well so then she wanted us to watch it and they have this episode that I will always remember about the boys and girls clubhouses uh, where they had a girls clubhouse and a boys clubhouse but I wanted to make this girls and boys clubhouse and I put a wheel here uh, to make it look like a steering wheel as if you were kind of driving the ship uh, so that's good and that hay barrel was like way too big a uh, little bit of an overkill <laughs> putting in some gnomes here because what is a sims without some cheeky gnomes around the place and just adding in a few extra bits and bobs around the place uh, lots of sporting gear and I was gonna put this chair in from university life but there wasn't really that much space uh, we did put in a treasure chest as well with toys in it uh, up the top there and there's also some cheeky spray cans too 
Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of it. Uh, it's what we're creating here is actually a tea party. So a little carpet with the tea set from the store in the middle. And then we're putting toys around it. Uh, so it's like a little tea party. Is it, it is something I have done before, but not for a little while now. So I wanted to do that again. And I think it suits it quite well. Uh, putting some autumn leaves on the ground. It wasn't really necessary, but I thought for the purpose of the screenshots, it would look very cute. And uh, I also put in a dog bowl in case the kids want to walk their dog there and their dog can have, I don't know, a bit of a snackaroo or a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a water drink or something. Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, also putting in some plants and I did want to put in some sleeping bags. So we do actually put some sleeping bags near the fire uh, in case, I don't know, some kids wanted to have a bit of a sleepover one night. And of course, we had to, at this clubhouse, have a lemon cordial stand because hello, who did not have a lemon cordial stand when they were a kid? Uh, I know some of you may not have, but it was like pretty much the peak of my childhood, <laughs> actually making money from lemon cordial. Uh, of course, this cash register I wanted to use like as if the kid had got an old one to play with and uh, it can't go on the table. So we actually put it on a bench top and we delete the lower half by holding uh, you have to have cheats enabled and then you go uh, control shift or command shift, I think, on a Mac. Or maybe it is control shift on Mac as well. Can't remember. Uh, but then you can actually delete the lower half. Uh, half of it. So it gets the effect of it's just kind of a piece of wood wedged in between those poles. Just fixing the terrain a little bit now as well. Because uh, it was looking a little bit odd in a few places. So we fixed that up. And uh, I was looking for a few extra lights, but in the end, I think it worked out quite well. Oh, we put in some oars in the interior, I think. Uh, but yeah, coming up to the screenshots just in a second now. And uh, oh, there goes the sleeping bags. We needed that. <laughs> and there's some spider webs too from the now and then uh, mana set too. But anyway, here are the screenshots. Uh, happy birthday, Sonia. I hope you had a lovely birthday. And uh, I hope you enjoy this build. And yeah, it's available for download if you guys would like it. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, I thought there was just this was like a fun build, something a little bit different, uh, something I ha I haven't seen before. Um, but I'm sure someone else has tried it though. And uh, yeah, there's a little tea set. We've got the upstairs kind of decking area where. You can sail the boat off. There's a kid uh, getting ready to sell some cordial or at least to play. And he's going down the pole as well, which looks like so much fun. Fun fact, I can actually go down the pole with no hands. Uh, bit of a fun fact there. Uh, I learned how to do that when I was a kid. So I've carried that throughout my life. It's something I'm very proud of. <laughs> uh, not really, but actually kind of. Uh, they're roasting some marshmallows as well while camping over. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.